Dozens of mobilized Russians from Volgograd are reported to have died after being sent to fight in Ukraine without being given any ammunition. Their deaths are said to have been covered up subsequently, but independent Russian journalists have reported on their story. The No Future Project has published a long report on the fate of the men, who were part of the first wave of Russia's mobilization in September-October 2022. They seem to have accepted their mobilization orders as their patriotic duty. One man told his wife, Do you understand that the next day they will come to bomb us? I have a sister here, a mother, goddaughters. I'm going to protect you first. Relatives sold cars and other personal items to equip their men before they were sent to a training area. Training turned out to be minimal. A wife says that, that the men played on their phones for two weeks and had one session at a firing range where they shot 10 blank rounds from a sniper rifle. According to No Future, relatives say that the mobilized rebelled and demanded to be taken to exercises more often, to which one of the unit commanders replied, you are meat. Disillusionment set in. One man told his wife, don't believe anything that they say in the news, they are bullshitting, not a single word of truth, a complete lie. The men were sent to Jankoy in Crimea, and were briefed about how to deal with the civilian population in the occupied Kherson region, where they were to be sent. As a wife put it, you can't trust anyone there at all, not a grandmother, not a child, not anyone. The trucks drove off to the bridge over the Dnipro at the Kakovka hydroelectric power station. As they approached the bridge, they were blocked by a civilian car. Second later, they were hit by HIMARS rockets, which wrecked the trucks and killed or injured many of the men. One survivor recalls, there was an explosion, a bang, and seconds later it hit my Ural. A green flash, my helmet just flies off, falls to the ground. I don't understand what is happening in this Ural. The guys all bowed their heads. I asked, all alive? Is everybody alive? Everybody alive? And my head starts bleeding. I start throwing my boys who had started moaning out of the Ural. The others were completely silent. They were just killed. I just have half my skull missing. I start throwing earth into my head in the first puddle ditch I come across. We didn't even have first aid kits. Nobody gave us any. The guys were all running around. The men blamed their commanders for the deadliness of the attack, as the trucks were close together and traveling slowly when they were hit. They say their commanders ran away after the attack. The company commander and battalion commander forced people to get into overcrowded vehicles, did not coordinate the march with the leadership, sent the column without cover, and drove along a dangerous route. The battalion commander ditched the wounded, ditched the dead, and just ran away from there. When the boys were left under fire, he left his position and went to another place, supposedly to look at new positions and wait for the boys there. Berta says that 70 died in the initial attack on the right, north bank of the Dnipro, with more being killed on the left, south bank. He says that he personally identified 32 dead from one of the trucks in the convoy, in which everyone inside was killed. Some of the men suspect they were set up by people on their own side collaborating with the Ukrainians, but this seems unlikely, as the bridge had come under repeated HIMARS attacks and was likely being watched by the Ukrainians for vehicles crossing it. A stream of corpses arrived back at Volgograd a few days later. Relatives lamented on social media. The coffins are flowing. How many more for this date? So many corpses and not a word. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.